Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Fashion Friday. As you can see, I'm at JCPenney's. Kind of an impromptu Fashion Friday. I was here for Jonathan. Decided to go look at the women's section and see what they had. And I got a couple of items from the regular women's, not the plus size. I'm in a dressing room. As you can see. And I just wanted to see how they would look. And if they would fit. Okay, so this top <clears throat> is from Anna and it says $22, but I'm pretty sure it was marked out. Um, it's an extra, extra large, long sleeve. Um, I like the stripes a lot. I like the neckline a lot. Honestly, I feel like it's a little big on top, but it's, I don't know. I think it's super cute. I really like it a lot though. I'm just not sure about how it fits me right here because it's such a thin material, it kind of shows my belly a lot this is kind of like a meh but I saw this jacket in clearance extra extra large normally $70 it's on clearance for $17.50 so let's try this on and see this is like a faux leather in a gray color super cute I'm bummed out. It's a little bit tight in my arms. Ooh. I could like hulk out of this thing. This is the largest size they have, so I definitely can't go up a size. But I might check the plus size section and see if they have anything that's comparable because it's so cute. But I don't think this is a brand that is on the plus size side. Everything I got today was from the ladies side. So this is the next top, St. John's Bay Extra Extra Large. It says 37 but it was $17.99. Let's try this one. Okay, it's a little bit shorter than I would like, but I think it's really cute. Fits really good in the arms. The length is okay in the back though. Has a little bit of gaping right here. But honestly, overall, even with it being kind of short, I think I really like it. It looks cute with this outfit. I think I like this one. Here's another one from the Anna line, extra extra large, it says 19 but I'm pretty sure it was also on sale. I don't know how these department stores are, everything's always on sale. So like the first shirt I tried on was, it seemed like it was made to be a little bit oversized. This one fits more fitted, v-neck, just a cotton t-shirt, but it has these little foil lips. This one also does the same thing where you can kind of see rippling on my belly so I don't really like that too much like it's okay a little bit shorter than I like but probably because it's from the lady side not the plus size side and there I like this one too okay now I have two pairs of the jeans same brand both 18s just different like cuts I think they technically have them listed as jeggings so this is Super Soft Extreme Stretch 18 Jugging. It says 50 bucks, but like I said, I'm pretty sure it's not 50. And then I got another pair exactly the same, just a different um, like style and wash. But they're also the Extreme Stretch Jugging 18. Let's try these on. Okay, these technically fit. They're actually not too tight. They're jegging, so they're pretty stretchy. Um, definitely need to wear a shaper with them. They're a tad long, but not super long. But they cause a lot of muffin top. So really, I should probably go up a size. And they don't have these in bigger size in the misses section. I would definitely have to probably buy my jeans from the plus size side. It was a little bit difficult to get my booty into these. Um, I mean, they're not terrible, but they're not super flattering either. So, let's try on the other ones. Probably gonna be the same fit, but let's just try them on. Okay, so the different 
wash and style even though they're jeggings they're both 18s fit a little bit different these ones I could probably force myself into them but I'm not I'm not gonna do it I really do like the distressing on these though but yeah they are too small so I previously said that I would need to get my pants from the plus size section but actually I was thinking I might be able to fit their actual jeans because these are jeggings I didn't grab any regular jeans and I'm not going to on this trip but if you want to see me do like a jeans try on let me know so yeah here they are 18 what do they say leggings jegging jegging so this is a plus size of the exact same thing I tried on in the regular sizes that's pretty cool okay back in my car um wow jc pennies so i'm bummed to say that i did not find one of those jackets in a plus size it looks like they do have the brand anna in plus sizes because i saw some when i was looking around after i left the dressing room but i didn't see any more jackets their plus size section is kind of small so that's a little bit disappointing but i mean I'm kind of used to it and just like at Walmart I'm kind of like on the cusp where I fit some things in the missus section because like I'm an 18 and their sizes go up to an 18 um, but depending on the cut and like the style or whatever I could probably be a little bit more comfortable if I bumped up to the plus size now the one thing I saw that's really cool is that like their St. John's Bay which is their own line they have in plus size and regular so like that flannel I tried on that I thought was really cute I saw it in the plus size section which meant that it's probably a little bit longer and I almost bought it I carried it around with me uh, but then I you know we're trying not to do any frivolous spending so I didn't end up purchasing it because I don't need another shirt um, as much as I wanted another shirt <laughs> um, so yeah I'm like their clearance section is huge like it's as big as the plus size section of course it's a little bit messy and it's probably gonna take a lot of work to go through it but if you have some time and you're looking for some clothes come to jc penny and you know just know that you're gonna have to like do this tick, 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 and, and, until you find something but i'm sure you can find some good deals because like that jacket was 70 dollars regularly and it was what was it 17 dollars or 15 dollars something crazy like that I will say trying on clothes is so frustrating filming because there's always bound to be somebody that's going to come right next to me and it's like especially at JCPenney's it's a huge dressing room I went to the last one the second to last one and someone came to the one right next to me when there's all these open ones but I mean it's not the end of the world I just waited till they were done and then I started filming so I was probably in that dressing room for like 30 minutes. I'm surprised they didn't like send security after me. So that's everything for JC Penney's Fashion Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have a retailer you would like for me to try, leave a comment down below. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I posted on my Instagram and asked if y'all would be interested in seeing a video about this and I feel like everybody except for like one person said yes.